One of the most shocking parts of World War II was what the Allies and the Red Army would find as they made their way through Nazi-occupied territory, forcing the Germans back towards their homeland. They came across concentration camps that showcased the true horrors of the Nazi regime, with camps such as Bergen-Belsen sprawling with dead bodies and prisoners who were left to rot. Bergen-Belsen was a camp where Anne Frank passed away from typhus, and the state of Belsen was horrendous. Disease was rife, and the prisoners left told the liberators of the true crimes of the SS and the Nazi guards, treating the prisoners terribly. One such lady who worked as a guard at Belsen was Elizabeth Falkenrath, who at the age of 26 was sent to her death for her crimes of the Holocaust. So join us today as we look at the execution of Elizabeth Falkenrath, the Witch of Auschwitz. Remember to support our channel. Please make sure to subscribe. Born Elizabeth Merlau, she was the daughter of a forest worker and Elizabeth was part of a large family, having a number of siblings. After she finished school, she worked as a nanny and a cook from 1933 to May 1938 and then afterwards she became a hairdresser. Before the Second World War occurred, she became inspired with the politics of the Nazi party and became ingrained with the policies outlined by Adolf Hitler. She signed up for the SS retinue at the start of October 1941 and worked as an overseer initially at Ravensbrück concentration camp. Ravensbrück was a camp strictly for female prisoners that was opened by the Nazis and she worked under Dorothea Binns. She was trained to be an officer in and, and she had to keep an eye on the prisoners to ensure that no one escaped. In March 1942, Elizabeth Falkenrath applied for a transfer from Ravensbrück to Auschwitz, the huge extermination and labour complex in which the final solution was implemented within. It was planned for Auschwitz to be one of the main extermination camps, responsible for massacring as many people as the Nazis required. Volkenrath became a guard in the prisoner's tailor shop inside of the camp, and then after, in August 1942, she was transferred to the women's area at Auschwitz-Birkenau. Birkenau was the main extermination element of Auschwitz, but shortly after, she was taken ill. Elizabeth Falkenrath was stricken down with a case of typhus and ended up in hospital. After this, she took office inside the parcel post in Birkenau from the end of December 1942. Here she monitored up to 30 prisoners and she would inspect different packages coming into the camp. She ordered the prisoners to inspect the packages that were coming in, many from the Red Cross, and then the goods inside these would be distributed. Falkenrath was also tasked with handing out bread inside of the camp. She remained at Auschwitz-Birkenau until September 1944 and was then transferred back to Auschwitz I, becoming the camp leader of the women's area. She was promoted to the superintendent of the women's camp and remained in this position until Auschwitz was evacuated. In terms of what Elizabeth Falkenrath did at Auschwitz and other camps, she was accused of a number of despicable actions. She was accused at her trial of taking part in the selection processes. This is where prisoners would arrive at the camp by train, and those who were simply not fit enough to work would be sent straight to their deaths inside of the gas chambers. Volkenrath was accused of choosing those inmates to be killed immediately, but she would deny this like so many SS guards would at trial. She was also accused of helping to load prisoners onto transports and lorries, which would take them straight to the gas chambers after their fate had been decided she did claim that she did not know where the lorries were heading. The most shocking claims about Elizabeth Falkenrath relate to her inhumane and cruel treatment of prisoners while she worked in the women's section of Auschwitz. It was said by a number of witnesses that she had a habit of beating women, and she admitted that she did slap the faces of many women whilst working as a guard. A lady, Vera Fischer, stated that she was once beaten so severely by Falkenrath that she was placed in hospital for three weeks. It was also claimed that on around 80 occasions, she was witnessed beating women prisoners until they were unconscious, and that armed with a rubber truncheon, she even beat many women to death. Helene Herkowitz stated in evidence against Volkenrath that she was questioned about a ring and a locket she was wearing, and after this, she was forced to run behind a bicycle to the SS headquarters, where Volkenrath was. There she beat her with a rubber truncheon, and she was placed in a cellar, and given bread and water every three days. She was then forced to work in the toilets, where she caught typhus and almost died. The accusations continued, 
with Volkaraf accused of throwing an old woman down a flight of stairs, near to the workshop where the old lady then died immediately. Also she took food and water away from prisoners, as well as other supplies, leaving them with very little to survive on. Volkenrath also imposed making sport, where prisoners were forced to take part in gruelling exercises in a group form of punishment, and sometimes these punishments were so severe that prisoners died from exhaustion. Volkenrath, in terms of her conduct, was also later accused of striking women so hard that they would be knocked down to the ground and would be out cold. It was stated that she once caught a girl who was sick taking some vegetables, and Volkenrath made her kneel down and hold the stolen goods above her head for four hours, until she could no longer hold her arms up. After this, she took her rubber truncheon to her, and knocked the poor girl unconscious, and it was instructed that no one could help her until nightfall. She was known for being a brutal and savage guard, who would happily beat prisoners unconscious, and sometimes even to death, imposing a reign of terror onto those poor people inside of the camps. After Auschwitz was evacuated, Elizabeth Falkenrath was sent to Bergen-Belsen concentration camp on the 5th of February 1945 and she worked under the Beast of Belsen, Camp Commandant Josef Kramer. She stated that once again she fell ill from typhus after a few days of arriving at Belsen and it's clear that there was a rife typhus epidemic sweeping the camp. The state of Belsen at this time in the war was shocking, with much hunger and desperation all around. On the 15th of April 1945, Bergen-Belsen was liberated by the British. As they entered the camp, they found around 10,000 corpses and around 60,000 prisoners clinging to life. Also at the camp, there were a number of guards who had stayed there rather than flee, and one of these was Elizabeth Falkenrath. She was taken to the cellar prison, shortly after she was forced by the British to remove all of the corpses and bury them in mass graves. Whilst in prison, she was interrogated, and through prisoner testimonies it was clear what a brutal and barbaric woman she clearly was. Prisoners from Belsen and Auschwitz told of her beatings and her thirst for violence at such a young age. She was then placed on trial at the Belsen trial, which began on September 17, 1945 at Lerneberg. She was charged with crimes committed at Auschwitz and Belsen, and chose to plead not guilty. Volkenrath did admit that she attended selections at Auschwitz, but denied participating, and also said how she did not know about the gas chambers. She admitted to slapping inmates, and stated that the mistreatment of prisoners was a lie. Volkenrath even went as far to say that she had been punished in the fact she had to live like the prisoners. Along with two other women, and a host of other males such as Josef Kramer, Elizabeth Volkenrath was sentenced to death for her crimes. On the 13th of December 1945, at Hamlin Prison, she was taken out of her cell to the execution chamber. Her execution was to be performed by British executioner Albert Pierpoint, using the long drop method, on a specially built scaffold. Pierpoint and his assistant met previously with all of the condemned to calculate their height, weight and the subsequent drop needed to snap their necks and kill them. Pierpoint on simultaneous gallows performed the execution of those condemned during the Belson trials, however the women condemned would go first. The first of the women to die was Volkenrath. She was brought into the chamber and taken up the stairs to the gallows. At 9.34am she was placed over a trap door in which Pierpoint had written a chalk X on the ground. A cap was placed over her head, as was the noose, and in seconds the death of Elizabeth Volkenrath occurred, with her neck slapping instantly. She was then declared dead, and her remains were cremated. What is shocking about Elizabeth Volkenrath is the immense verse of brutality she had at such a young age. When she was taken to the gallows, she was merely just a 26-year-old woman. When she committed many of her crimes in Auschwitz, she would have been younger, and she first worked in a concentration camp at the age of 22. It seems that despite volunteering, she had a real passion for inflicting barbaric punishment onto prisoners, and she seemed like a woman desperate to wield her power over the innocent suffering. Once again, thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.